Question 2. NO and NO2 reacts at 25 degrees C to give the N2O3 as shown in this equation. Um, so it's uh, N-B is negative 7.2 kilojoule per mole. The reaction is reversible and reach equilibrium in a closed system. You should know uh, what is a closed system now. Uh, means the reactants and the products they cannot escape and they will reach equilibrium uh, at a certain time. Part A. Figure 2.1 shows how the rate of the forward uh, reaction change with time. So this is uh, the forward reaction. So it's uh, the rate of reaction decreasing, decreasing until it's reached constant rate. Okay, at this time. Start from this time. Initially, the rate of a reverse reaction is zero. Okay, of course, because initially um, the N2O3 is still not yet formed. Okay. When the N2O3 uh, form, then it will start to go backwards and form the NO and NO2. So what we expect is uh, when there is, it starts from this origin. So when there is a N2O3 that form uh, from time to time, so the, this uh, backwards reaction, the reverse reaction, so it will increase, increase, increase until the point that it meet with the, uh, this uh, forward reaction. Because we know that at equilibrium, the rate of the forward reaction must same as the rate of the reverse reaction. So means they will reach, okay, when they reach this point and the rate constant, uh, so from here onwards, we know that they reach the uh, equilibrium uh, because the rate forwards and the reverse, now they are the same, okay, same values here. So means you just need to draw one line here and meet at certain point here, right? So uh, means they reach the constant rate for both. Part B, state how the position of the equilibrium change if at all, when the reaction takes place at 100 degrees C. Uh, initially, this reaction is happened uh, at 25 degrees C. Now the temperature increases. So from 25 now increase to 100. And we know that uh, this uh, reaction is exo. Means the equilibrium will shift backwards. And when it's backwards, we know that uh, it must be endo. So it will absorb the heat and decrease the temperature. Because the temperature now increased, equilibrium will try to decrease that. So by shift the equilibrium to left hand side. Because shift to left hand side means the backwards. So it's endo and it's able to absorb the heat. Uh, that's the reason why. Now explain your answer, assume the pressure remain constant. Okay, equilibrium position would move to left. Okay. As I told you, shift backwards or move to left as the forward reaction is exo. Because forward is exo, backwards must be endo, right? And of course, uh, forward reaction is exo, uh, which is the uh, by increase in temperature. So, uh, or you actually can say backwards reaction is endo, so it will absorb heat. Okay, when it shift left. Okay, this is the answer from Mark's scheme. Uh, actually, this is a similar meaning. Right. For part C, uh, this is the um, partial pressure calculation. And uh, once you get the partial pressure, you can get uh, this uh, KP. So now, uh, in order to calculate the KP again, uh, you need to uh, get partial pressure. First thing you need to do is to get the total mole. Total mole is important. Uh, already given for this NO, NO2 and N2O3. So these two, they are reactant and this is product. Uh, and the most of uh, these uh, NO, NO2 and N2O3 given uh, at equilibrium is given 0 0.605. For this NO and NO2, 0 0.390 for the N2O3. Uh, the first thing you need to do is uh, try to find the total moles. So sum up these three moles, you get 1.6. Okay, after that, uh, you need to get the partial pressure 
for this NO, NO2, and N2O3. Okay, how to calculate the partial pressure? We need to use the mole fraction. This is a mole fraction. Huh? Mole fraction times total pressure. The mole fraction is we use the mole of the one of the reactant. Okay, in this case is NO over the total mole. So this is the mole fraction, 0 0.605 over 1.6 okay, times total pressure, which is 101 kilopascal. So the partial pressure you get uh, for NO, you get 38.19. Okay, because the NO2 share the same mole, uh, it's have the same mole with, not share the same, it's the same mole uh, as the NO, so the number of mole is the same. Therefore, the partial pressure of NO2 will be same. 38.19 and for the N2O3 then you need to calculate uh, is a uh, mole fraction 0 0.39 over total mole times the same total pressure so you get 24.62 kilopascal so once you get all the partial pressure then you can uh, substitute into the KP expression the KP expression is follow the equilibrium so it's a product over the reactants Partial pressure of products over the partial pressure of reactant. So it's the this one, partial pressure of N2O3 over this yeah, uh, partial pressure of NO times this uh, uh, partial pressure of NO2. Okay, and if you want to find out the unit, it's very easy. Here is kilopascal, here is kilopascal squared. So you get per kilopascal later. Okay, substitute the values that you obtain here. This one, 38.19 for both, right? And 24.62 okay, for the in this part so you get 0 0.0169 okay, per kilo pascal so this is the answer now part D identify, identify one natural process and one man-made process that uh, caused the formation of the atmospheric NO and NO2 uh, this one is uh, very easy uh, in the nature natural process uh, of course it's uh, lightning so this one will provide uh, enough uh, energy uh, for the for the oxidations of the nitrogen means uh, n n triple bond break and it will form this uh, this uh, n n o and n o2 right uh, manic process very easy it's just uh, inside the engine car engine so it's internal combustion uh, engines means that because inside the engine it has high temperature very high temperature and very high pressure so therefore okay if you let the nitrogens to form the NO and NO2 means uh, under this condition the N N triple bonds will break and the N will get uh, oxidized Part E, NO2 is brown gas that uh, can cause the, uh, can be used uh, to form the nitric acid. Uh, part one, NO2 is a free radical. Define free radical very easy. Uh, whenever the species is has a uh, this uh, unpaired electron, so uh, we say that it's a free radical. It just uh, I think the one that uh, you learn in organic chem, uh, like for example chlorines and uh, Corins uh, undergo homolytic fission, so it will form the corin radicals. Okay, two corin radicals, because now the corin is has one unpaired electron. The okay, same thing, uh, uh, like uh, this uh, NO two. NO two is has one unpaired electrons on N. Um, so this one also we consider as free radical. So just define the free radical uh, species with one or more unpaired electron. Uh, that's the free radicals about. Okay, part two, NO2 has the catalytic role in the oxidation uh, of atmospheric uh, sulfur dioxide. Write equation to show the catalytic, catalytic role of NO2 uh, for this oxidation. Um, actually, the most important thing that you need to show is uh, the NO2 must regenerate. So we start from NO2 and this one used to oxidize SO2 and the SO2 now oxidized to SO3. And NO will reduce to N, uh, NO2 will reduce to NO. Okay, once the NO uh, form, 
then this one will further oxidize it means uh, it will react with the oxygen and get oxidized to NO2 so means again we start from NO2 and this NO2 will regenerate and it will catalyze again uh, so this one is the catalyst okay, which it can be regenerate part 3 state one environmental consequence of the oxidation of atmospheric SO2 okay, we know that this one uh, is always form acid rain okay, SO, SO2 after it get oxidized it will form SO3 SO3 with water means the, the moisture so it will form H2SO4 and H2SO4 is the acid rain right so your answer very uh, the answer very easy formation of acid rain part F a student titrate nitric acid with a base to form a solution containing aqueous magnesium nitrate part 1 identify a base that the student could use uh, this one is quite uh, straightforward and easy because it's a base and it must uh, involve the magnesium right so therefore we must use magnesium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide it can undergo neutralization with HNO3 and it will form the salt which is magnesium nitrate with water so of course the best answer is magnesium hydroxide you can give the formula or the name part 2 the student evaporates the water to obtain magnesium nitrate solid when the solid is heated it decomposed write an equation for the decomposition of magnesium nitrate this is very straightforward magnesium nitrate after decomposed it will form two gases NO2 the brown gas and O2 okay of course the residue is the magnesium oxide this is the white residue um, normally I will put uh, this uh, ratio 2 2 4 1 or you can use the one that in max scheme means all divided by 2 so means this is a uh, 1 1 2 half okay it depends actually it just uh, is the same thing part 3 state how the thermal stability of group 2 nitrates change uh, down the group uh, group 2 nitrate and group 2 uh, carbonate they are actually the uh, same trend thermal stability means uh, how stable is the compound uh, when we heat that so when we say that high thermal stability means it's hard to decompose okay we know that uh, group 2 nitrate or group 2 carbonate when down the groups thermal stability increases okay when we say that thermal stability increases means it's harder to decompose means uh, magnesium nitrate is the one that easiest to decompose of course in this uh, AS you no, no need to explain why you just need to know the trend so you just need to state the trend uh, whether it's a higher thermal stability or lower thermal stability okay again down the group group 2 nitrate and group 2 carbonate thermal stability increases uh, this is the, actually the, the, the reason why uh, this is actually in A2 uh, it's just because the, the ionic radius uh, when down the group is larger so the charge density decreases and the polarizing power of this uh, group 2 cation is uh, lesser and is not really able to weaken the, the NO bond uh, so means uh, more energy is needed uh, the magnesium easier is uh, very easy for it to uh, this uh, weaken the NO bond here so NO bond easy to break therefore it can decompose easier okay this explanation uh, no need for the AS it's just for your extra info okay that's all thank you